If I could go back to my younger self, there's so much I'd say before becoming an artist. Then again, without these tribulations, this video wouldn't exist. Or even worse, it wouldn't mean anything at all. Hi, I'm Vivi, and these are five things I wish I knew as a beginner artist. Number one, the artist's journey is an unflattering mirror of yourself. Our relationship with our art and creative process can provide insight to deeper parts of ourselves. Sometimes, this can make us feel uncomfortable. Throughout your artistic journey, you'll find that a lot of personal challenges are going to float to the surface like oil and water. And it's not going to be pretty. Insecurities and traumas can mask themselves in the form of comparisons, perfectionism, and disappointment in our art. Be careful to not minimize them as just artist problems, because oftentimes, they go way deeper than that. They're like dragons, and if you're not ready to handle them as they come, they'll destroy the very joy of making art altogether. It's a tragic reason why so many of us end up putting the paintbrushes down for way too long. Don't let those dragons win. You know when they're there. You feel it. Do yourself a favor and prepare for them, whatever that looks like for you. Be steadfast, and though they inevitably will come, you can overcome them, and you'll find an even greater love and strength with your art practice. Number two. Don't rely on inspiration. This is a powerful drive that feels like the lifeblood of an artist, but don't be fooled, it's fickle. If you pick up your brush only when you feel like it, you're not going to progress in the way that you want to. Yes, art should be fun and relaxing, but if you really want to take your skills to the fullest potential, some serious work is going to have to go into it. And it won't always be exactly fun. It's like anything else you have to work for in life and the results that you want don't come the next day. They start to show up after you show up, and sometimes it's going to mean some frustration along the way. Some of the best work we will ever make will come from the magic of inspiration. The rest of the time, we spend cultivating our skills so we can be ready to catch its fleeting winds when it does come. Number three, your self-esteem is not in your art. This one is a hard pill for me to swallow. We invest countless hours, emotional and life energy into our craft. Regardless, some people still won't appreciate it, and they never will. This one is painful to accept because we crave validation, especially from those we love. Validation reassures us that we are doing good, and lack of appreciation has the power to break our desire to paint or do anything worthwhile for the matter. We put our entire self-worth as a person, a living, breathing being with inherent value, in things that are measurable. We as people, regardless of artistic ability, have the incredible ability to bring things into existence. We do it all the time. We speak things into existence for better or for worse. We conjure up ideas of the future. As artists, we bring ideas, memories, and energy to life with our art. And that's amazing. But how often do we fail to see that because we're so focused on how dissatisfied we are with our art? Those things are fixable by learning skills. Why would we destroy the dreams, will, and heart of an artist in the making just because they lack the skill and sufficient opportunities to cultivate their craft? Your self-esteem is not in your craft whether you're proud of your art or not. It's in the fact that you have inherent value that no physical thing you make or do can diminish. Number four, fundamentals first, style second. Learning to paint is like learning a language. Mediums are dialects, brushwork is our words. We in our communities speak the same language in order to communicate, but some people manage to put words together in a way so captivating that they create literary masterpieces remembered across generations. Artists do the same thing, but use color, light, texture, and symbols to create visual representations. We all know there's so much more to becoming an exceptional writer than just knowing how to make sentences. So getting upset with yourself for not being able to paint creatively is like learning the basics of a foreign language and then expecting yourself to be able to craft literary masterpieces. Most people in the right mind recognize how unrealistic those expectations are. Yet for some reason, the same logic doesn't apply when it comes to color and paintbrushes. I know I'm guilty of that. Becoming better takes time. A lot of time. An art that we're unhappy with is often a result of mentality and or underdeveloped fundamentals, not some inherent inability to be artistic or creative, 
no matter how tempting it is to believe that. Number five, be authentic, like really, truly authentic. You could spend an entire lifetime on social media seeing other artists work and never get to see them all. Don't spend your waking hours coveting another artist's work, success, and good fortunes, and then work to paint just like them, because you'll end up missing the potential and joy of your own creative life. It's good to get inspiration from others, but beware of the rabbit hole that it can become. Learn to recognize the difference between being in love with the idea of painting a certain way and being in love with the actual practice itself. When your art is congruent with yourself and what you value, both at a conscious and unconscious level, you'll find it to be so much more fulfilling and worthwhile. Being an artist is ultimately a relationship with yourself, your work, and the world. You have influence over two out of those three elements. And that's a lot of power despite everything we contend with in our personal lives. You are incredibly complicated, too much to fully understand in a lifetime. But there's something beautiful and alluring in that. The artist himself is a masterpiece in the making, and one more important, more intriguing, and more valuable than any painting you will ever make. Remember this, my friends, and you will find your painting journey to be so much more fulfilling than you could ever possibly imagine. Hi, I'm Vivi, and I help artists live happier, healthier, and more fulfilling art practices. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.